Yo, what's going on, everyone? It's your boy D Lord. We are back with another episode of our FAU NCAA Football 11 Dynasty Mode series. Now, quickly before we jump into the commentary, let's look at the top 25 because number one, Alabama, they have finally lost down goes Alabama, and they're going to drop all the way in the rankings to number. 10 that's right alabama they end up losing a game to arkansas 24 to 38 they went from one to number 10 did not think alabama would lose by the way they were dominating people early on in the season but they did finally lose as for the rest of the top 25 not a lot of movement once again but north carolina they end up losing so north carolina end up dropping from number 13 all the way down to number 20 in the standings but besides that nothing significant in the rankings that actually happened and the navy is sitting at the number 25 spot but we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the heisman list this is changing a little bit like i said it's gonna take a while to get 100 percent in the shape but as of right now stanley morgan the nebraska receiver is on top of the heisman list with 25 catches 480 yards and six total touchdowns you still have francois at number two at 17 passing touchdowns so far this season brian robinson he is finally on his way down kenny hill though he is on his way up as he sits with 16 total touchdowns on the season and we finally have a baker mayfield sighting he is finally on the heisman list at the fifth spot he also has 16 total touchdowns he did not play in the game though against cincinnati so i'm not sure exactly what's up with baker mayfield but he is finally on the heisman list as for this game we're taking on usf and once again we have another player committing an ncaa fraction this time it is a team rules violation so of course we have to see exactly what happened but this is our star defensive tackle and it looks like he was reportedly in a fraud scandal now, i don't know exactly what is going on but we do not need the ncaa to take interest so this will be a little bit more harsh than just one quarter we will end up just suspending him for only one game so not huge but we don't know exactly what's going on so we'll go ahead like i said be safe rather than sorry so we're taking on usf of course this is not televised so once again no broadcast package and they end up winning the coin toss so they're going to go ahead and receive so they get the football first started things off from the 46 yard line after a great um kick return right away they're going to find their tight end making that catch and just like that after one play they are in fau territory and they're right here they're taking a shot deep but that one will fall incomplete. Second and 10 now for um, the Bulls. They're gonna go ahead and hand off to Johnson. He takes this one up the middle, gets a gain of seven. Third and three now for USF to go with the QB read. He keeps it, and we do bring him down one yard shy of that first down marker. So they go ahead and kick the field goal. This kick is up, and that kick is right down the middle. So they do get on the scoreboard first. They are up three to nothing, but we're trying to take over. We hand it off to our running back. That is Devin Singletary. He goes absolutely nowhere. Right here, Chris Robinson is rolling out to our right. The freshman quarterback who we did burn the red shirt last week he's going to get the start right here and right away he's going to find john franklin the third and he is gone that's going to be a touchdown and we are going to answer with a touchdown you guys a very quick start for us the quickest start we had so far this season and our quarterback he's been balling if he can continue the ball we could definitely look good because our defense they have been doing their thing but right here we're trying to come up with this stop and we're going to do just that as our linebacker ball will comes up with the interception he threw the ball right to him now it is second and five this is robinson rolling out to his left and he will end up fumbling the football as he tried to die for the first down fumbled it and usf they do recover the ball so they take over from the 20 yard line this is keen in the shotgun formation looking to his right this one's a little low but the tight end catches it and he is able to pick up a first down two plays later this is keen he's rolling around to his right looking and this one's going to fall incomplete as we are able to bat that one down now it is third down for usf throwing it across his body this one will be caught but he will be brought down way shy of that first down mark. So that's the punt it. We take over on offense. It's a single tail with the mean stiff arm right there. Then he gets tackled out of bounds for a gain of five the very next play we go right back to the ground Devin Singletary he's trying to stretch out for the first down but he is inches shy of it so we go right back to the ground look at the nice duck right there by Singletary but he fumbles the football and luckily for us that is John Franklin falling on it right here this is Chris Robinson he slips and then he gets brought down for a sack now we are looking at a third to 16 the pressure is coming off the edge we've seen the guy on the on post route did not get into him in time under through it that allowed the corner to undercut it then of course that is the interception so the second turnover already 
in this ball game. And USF, they get the football now. Third down, though. They need to try to convert, try to throw the football deep. But instead, the quarterback gets hit as he throws it. And that is going to be an interception. So we take back over on the offensive side of the football. Ten seconds remaining here in the first quarter. And down goes Chris Robinson as he is brought down for a sec now we're here the first play of the second quarter and the exact same thing is going to happen we get brought down for another sack and then right here the defensive tackle comes through completely untouched and he is going to blow up chris robinson so we do have to punt the football fau now is now on defense trying to come up with a stop but we're able to do just that because barnwell comes up with another interception so we take over here at the 45 yard line hand the football off to Devin singletary he gets a gain of five on that one third and five now chris robinson has plenty of time looking down the middle of the field and he is going to find his target making that catch however this one is coming back because of a holding penalty. So instead of a first down, you're now looking at third and 15. Looking to our left, we find Woods, but he cannot hold on to the football. We will have to punt it. But later on, we get the football back. 55 seconds remaining here in the half. Trying to get some type of points before halftime. By the way, we find John Franklin the third, making that catch. Second and three now. We go with a play fake. This is Chris Robinson looking to his right, lobbing this one up. And look at that catch by John Franklin going up and making a grab. And that is going to take us down to the 25 yard line the very next play come out in the empty formation pressure is coming we're looking down the middle and this one's going to be picked off off of the deflection another interception thrown and that is going to take us to halftime so we are still leading even with the turnover seven to three but we could definitely be dominating if we didn't turn over the football so now here in the third quarter look at the stiff arm by singletary and singletary is going to be just inches shy of the first down marker but there is going to be a flag so later on we're looking at a third and five that's going to be mcgriff he's making that catch and that is going to be a first down as we go into USF territory. And right here, this is Singletary with a nice dip, but then he gets blasted. But luckily for us, he does get blasted forward. So that will help us get a few more yards. Right here, this is a quick out route. We had John Franklin, but the pass was off target. Now it is third down. Chris Robinson rolling out to his right, looking for Woods. And Woods is able to make the catch. And that is going to keep the drive alive. The very next play, we go right back to the ground. This is Devin Singletary. He's going to find some room to run. He gets a gain of seven second and three now Robinson looking to his left he's going to find John Franklin making that catch and we are now down to the 10 yard line right here Robinson dropping back again looking to his right and this time does not get enough air on it the receiver was wide open couldn't lob it up and instead of a possible touchdown this is going to result in a pick six this guy is gone saying there's nobody going to catch him and that is going to be the first touchdown of the ball game for USF they are now leading 10 to 7 so instead of possibly extending our lead we are now trailing as our offense comes back on the field but look at Devin Singletary nice spin move he ends up picking up a gain of six second and four now we go with a play fake Chris Robinson rolling out to his left and look at this spin move he's going to use right there as he bounces off a tackle then he runs out of bounds at the 40 however this is all coming back because of a holding penalty. So now it is second and 14. Chris Robinson dropping back, taking a shot deep down the field. And this one is going to fall incomplete. So now it is third and 14, about a minute to go here in the third quarter. We're lobbing this one up. And this one's going to be caught by Woods, making a fantastic grab. The very next play, we line up under center. We go to the ground. This is Devin Singletary. One juke move, another juke move. He stretches for the first down marker, but he is inches shy of it. So now the next play, we go right back to the ground. Look at Devin Singletary. Breaking out of one tackle, picking up a first down. Third and six, though. We're trying to pick up another first down here. The pressure is coming. We go with a play fake, looking for an open receiver. We lob it up to Franklin. He makes a diving catch, but he is out of bounds. So now it is fourth down, fourth quarter. We need to make something going here. Out of field goal range. So we're going for it. We're lobbing this one up, but that's going to be Woods making that catch. So that's going to keep the game in the drive alive for second and 13. We try to go with a play fake, but the pressure is just all over Chris Robinson. He does get brought down. So right here, we play a little conservative. We hand off to Devin Singletary, just trying to make this an easier field goal attempt so our kicker is on the field and this kick is up and this kick is going to be right down the middle so this game is tied up at 10 apiece but USF they do have the football right away this is Keen looking to his right throwing this one over the corner making the catch and he's taking this one down to the 35 yard line so just like that USF is trying to score some type of points right here they, they toss it out to Johnson though he's going absolutely nowhere losing a bunch of yards on that one third down now Keen breaks out of one sack but then he eventually gets brought down for another sack 
and they will have to punt the football. So we take over from the 26-yard line. Our first play, we go with a play fake. This is Chris Robinson rolling out to his left, taking a shot deep down the field, and this one's going to be picked off once again off of the deflection. This is Sanders, the same guy who had the pick six, and now with 130 remaining, USF has the opportunity to try to get in field goal range and win it. Right away, they're going to overthrow the receiver. So now it is third and nine. Keen is dropping back, has plenty of time, lobbing this one up, and this one is going to sail out of bounds. The receiver caught it, clearly no way he's going to get his feet down in bounds. So we do get another opportunity. 113 remains in the ball game. First play, Chris Robinson, he's going to take off. He's going to get a gain of about eight. Now 55 seconds remains in the ball game. We go with a play fake. Chris Robinson rolling out to his right. He does see it open. John Franklin, why not try to get it to him? And he's going to catch the football. And just like that, we are down to the 45-yard line. But it is 48 seconds here remaining in the game. We do use our first timeout. Now the next play, the pressure is coming. Chris Robinson forced to scramble out to his left. He does see Woods. Why not give him an opportunity? And Woods makes the catch as they are down to about the 14-yard line. A big-time play there. And now we're going to go conservative. Go ahead and try to run out this clock. We hand off to Devin Singletary, and he gets as close to the middle as possible with only four seconds remaining. So this kick is for the win. The kick is up, and this kick, of course, is right down the middle. And we come out of here with a victory, you guys. A big-time win, and we are going to advance to 3-1. and one on the season you guys a very good start here a very good win even though we did struggle once again with turnovers chris robinson is still being a playmaker enough and then john franklin by far had his best game as a florida atlantic al let's go ahead and take a look at the stats brett keen the quarterback for usf throwing zero touchdowns three interceptions only had five completions didn't have a great game we didn't have the best game either we did throw four picks but we did have one touchdown pass looking at our running game devin singletary 21 carries 80 yards only 3.8 Eight yards per carry but he is definitely being the guy for it, especially if we can get him going. John Franklin, though, six receptions, 132 yards, and a touchdown. This guy is our playmaker, our X-Factor, and that's how he probably won this game. But taking a look at our recruiting, our Make-A-Wish recruiting class once again, Sean Ricks, 49 points on him. What can we do? We're still sitting at the third spot. Alabama and Georgia are both ahead of us, but this guy runs a 4-2-8, so we're going to keep on trying to bring him in. If we could bring in a guy at his caliber at our running back position, that could definitely change uh, the, uh, pretty much our whole dynasty and our whole program around. David McQueen, we're also moving up. We're now number two. We moved ahead of Oregon, and now it's just USC ahead of us. So can we pull off this free safety? I'm thinking we can. His potential is good. Discipline is good. Everything is good about him, so hopefully we can bring him in Marcus Reed looks like he still wants to go to Alabama but we are gaining a little bit of ground on Alabama and that is a tight race and then we got Julius Binko we're the number one team still Florida State is starting to fall behind it looks like we're kind of pulling away he has good potential as well so hopefully we could be able to pull in this tackle but that is everything that we have for this episode as always I definitely hope you guys did enjoy it. the next game is against Louisiana Monroe but as always I definitely hope you guys did enjoy it if you did please go ahead and leave this video a like subscribe if you haven't already it's your boy D Lloyd I'm gonna see y'all next time peace